your past is a gift okay so in this video as promised okay I was going to talk about the time in my childhood where I wasn't focused on learning now what happened was at the end of year three at school so I would have been about eight eight nine maybe <laughs> anyway eight I think it was uh, but year three at school because I remember it was the year three teacher at the end of that year you know talking to my mum and dad at the parent teacher night that they have that they give you the report you know what's going on with your children um, he told my mum that I had come fourth in my class and the reason that I did not come first was because I never handed in any homework and you know that way he couldn't give me the first position you know like in all the tests we did I was always the best you know and all this stuff but because I didn't hand in homework he couldn't place me first anyway so my mum decided from that you know that oh we have to up the ante right we have to <laughs> raise the bar so to speak so she took me out of that school that I loved this public school now in all honesty the reason that I never did homework okay was because my dad worked all day okay doing his job he was a builder he would come home about four or five in the afternoon he got up really early to go off in the morning to do his work I, I had the afternoon to be with him after school I had the night time and so we'd watch movies together or we'd do things together and to me it was more important that I spent time with him than on doing homework you know but come the end of that year, two things happened. Uh, my mum decided to put me into a private school. And so I was changed to this school where I didn't know anyone. I didn't know anything about it, except that it was a Catholic school. Now, I had grown up in the Catholic religion. This was not a new thing to me. Um, on Sundays, we always went to church. There was this tiny little church that we used to go to that was in the next suburb from where we lived, but it was 10 minutes up the road. And it was lovely. I never had a problem going to that church and, you know, learning about the stories in the Bible and learning about Jesus and learning all the things that you learn at Catholic church, you know? But Catholic school was a different story because from the moment that I started Catholic school, the idea or the concept of the devil was introduced and it was reinforced in everything you know and from what they taught going to hell was inevitable you just couldn't do enough good to get into heaven you know and so everything I did I was always judging oh you know God's watching or the devil's watching and he's gonna take me away you know the whole time and I'm talking about I'm nine years old I'm a child and it got to a point where I started to panic you know funny enough in that year my grandmother passed away and I realized that when you die you don't come back there was that awakening in me about death you go away and you don't come back and so there was this panic when she left that I wasn't going to get into heaven that there was nothing I could do that was good enough to get me into heaven you know to me everything I was doing could be judged as something wrong it could be something sinful everything you know, I was looking at my life all the time, scrutinizing everything, analyzing everything. You know, will God be upset with this? Will God be unhappy with this? Will he judge that this isn't good and I won't be allowed in? You know, the whole time I spent this whole year like that. And so my whole focus that used to be on learning and wanting to learn and wanting to know things shifted completely to, will I be able to get into heaven? Will I be good enough? Will God accept me? And from there, one day, when my grandmother passed away, a few weeks after that, it all shifted. And in my head, it became inevitable that I was going to hell. And so I remember, and I don't remember what morning it was, but one morning I woke up crying that I didn't want to go to school. I didn't want to be reminded that I wasn't good enough to go to heaven. And I came home. And I went to bed crying and I woke up the next morning crying and I spent months like this months and then one day my mum she took me in and we went to see the priest there the main priest at the church and 
I just remember my mum saying, I don't know what to do with her. She cries all the time. She wakes up crying. She goes to bed crying. I don't know what to do. You know, I think I'm doing the right thing by sending her to this school because she's learning more, she's learning better, it's stricter. She said, but she's so unhappy. You know, I can't stop her crying. And I remember the priest and I remember his face to this very day and talk about coincidences in life. Now I'm looking at the photo. I'll see if I can quickly find it over here. Or if not, I'll put it in the next one. There's a photo of my Holy Communion that I had when I was nine. Let's see if you can see the priest in the background there. How good's that photo? Father Paul? Okay, he did my Holy Communion, right? This was the priest that we saw that day with my mum. And he said to her, if she is so unhappy and you can't stop her crying, then this school is not for her. Why do you keep bringing her here? You know, and I think by that stage, because it had been months and sometimes I would start crying in the middle of a lesson at school and everything, I think the teachers had had enough as well. You know, because my mind had gone to this dark place and I just couldn't retrieve it. I couldn't get it back from. And it got to a point where we couldn't go to the little church we used to go to on Sundays. That was 10 minutes from home. I couldn't walk in the door. I would spend the whole time crying or my mum would have to leave early, you know, because or we couldn't get in because I just couldn't stop crying. I couldn't even go to church without being standing outside the door of the church and crying. Straight away, I was overwhelmed with this feeling of, I'm not good enough, I can't go in there, God's not going to accept me. And so after that, they took me out of school. They took me out of the private school and they took me back to the other school, the public school. And from that point on, I became an overachiever because I didn't want to go back to that school. I didn't want to go back to being reminded and to be constantly told about the devil and that the devil's watching and that the devil's going to take you away. You know, when you die, you'll be taken away to this horrible place because of your sins, because of all the things that you do wrong. You know, and if you're not sorry for your sins. So, you know, after that, it was like, there were, all the homework was done, all the tests were the best tests. I never stopped studying, I never stopped learning and concentrating on getting the best scores and they were always for my mum always that she would be pleased and that she would think that that was enough for her that she wouldn't have to send me back to a place like that it was always for her the other thing i got from that experience was that it was wrong to love my dad that much it was wrong for me to want to spend that much time with my dad that's the other thing I took away from it because there was almost like a jealousy as well that my mum at that time had to go to work and I was left with dad and my sister of course my sister was already there but that I got to have all that time with him you know and she didn't and so I kind of felt like there was a jealousy between me and her of competing for dad's love you know and I, this is something that I really wanted to address I did make notes on this for the next video or for a video coming up about love and that there is enough love for everyone. I want to talk about that in the next video because it's such an important topic. You shouldn't have to compete for love with anybody. You don't need to. There is enough love and I will explain that more in the next one. Okay, my darlings? love you guys so remember to click like and subscribe below so you don't miss any of the messages and i'll see you in the next video okay bye for now